So one of the questions that I get asked all the time about my Camino Frances last year is if I took a laptop with me. And that's just crazy. Imagine having to carry that extra weight. So instead what I did was I took about 550 gigabytes worth of uh, compact flash cards and uh, micro SD cards for the drone and the camera, which I was able to stretch barely. I barely made it to the end. I was filming so much. But for this trip, for the Via Francigen, I'm gonna be gone for three months. No way that I can take that many SD cards. So instead I'm gonna take a portable hard drive, two terabytes, I might actually have to get another one along the way because I'm sure that I'm gonna fill it up. Now before we go any further, roll that intro. Now, how am I gonna transfer the footage from the camera to the hard drive? I'm not taking a computer. So I decided to take instead the RAF Power File Hub Plus. This little guy over here is a portable wireless travel router that only weighs 5.4 ounces. And it has a unique feature. It lets me connect my SD cards from the camera and connect a hard drive and wirelessly using my phone transfer the footage on the car to the hard drive. It also has an internal 6000 milliamps battery that doubles as a portable charger. Compare that to the Mophie Power Station extra large battery pack that packs 20,000 milliamps. The Samsung Note 8 that I'm taking with me has a battery capacity of 3300 milliamps. So I can get two chargers out of this guy over here if it comes to it. The unit powers on just like a DJI drone. First you tap it and it gives you the battery status and if you tap it again, it powers on the unit. You have a wireless symbol that lights up when it's ready to connect to your phone. It has an SD card reader on top and at the bottom it has a USB port that you can connect a flash drive or a hard drive to it. The app on the phone is very intuitive. In order to transfer the files from the SD card to the hard drive, all you have to do is go into the file folder and it lists both devices here, the micro SD card and the hard drive. First go into the SD card, go into the folder, go down the root folder until you get to your footage, you select it, then click on the wrench and go down to copy. Go back a few taps until you go back to the home root directory enter the hard drive where I created already a day one folder. This will be the file structure that I'm gonna follow. I have the Canon camera, I have the drone, and I have the thermal camera. Go into the Canon, which is the case where we're transferring right now, click paste, and it takes you to the transferring window. Pretty quick transfer. You can actually check the footage. Right now we're seeing the clip playing from the hard drive smooth, reliable. I'm gonna be taking two SD card, two 64 gigabyte SD cards. One is a backup in case the other one fails. And every single day, I'm gonna be transferring at the end of the day, at night, probably in the tent or the hotel, I'm gonna be transferring all the footage from all three devices to my hard drive and trying to keep it organized because I don't wanna get back home and having to organize 90 days worth of footage. I wish I would have known about this when I did the Camino Francesco, so I was constantly dreading, running out of space. I remember that I started out filming about 50 gigabytes worth of uh, footage on the first few days of El Camino, and I totally freaked out because I thought I wasn't gonna make it to the end, so I had to like take a step down in quality on the camera just to be able to, to stretch the 550 gigabytes. Instead of filming at 4K with the drone, I shot it at 2.7, which is still plenty. But this time around, I wanna go wild and record 4K, do time lapses, take advantage of the Ronin S, and uh, you know, so I can show you guys the Via Francigena in all its glory. Can't wait to get to uh, Switzerland. Imagine the, the views there, oh my God. Uh, T minus two weeks, training every single day. Can't wait for July 15th to get here. That's about it for today, guys. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for another gear review video.